Hey Saddleback family, my name is David and today I can't wait to hang out with you for a little bit and talk about walking in the unknown times of life. Now you're going to find times in life where all of a sudden you are either thrust into this zone of the unknown where you didn't see coming, you weren't planning on it. And there's other times where God's starting to work in your life to help you take a step of obedience to grow in an area of your life. And if you're like me, you like to be able to think through things, figure things out. I'm very pragmatic. I like to understand how this is going to work and where are we going to go with this. And, and sometimes when you get into faith and you get into life, there's this part where you're thinking, I don't know how that's going to happen or what's, what God is doing in my life. And, and it can make you almost freeze or can produce anxiety in your life. And some of you, you may be, you may be in this area of your life where God is calling you to something. You all of a sudden have found your place in this position. You're thinking, God, what are you doing? And there's a lot of verses in scripture that speak to us around encouragement and helping us in this unknown place. And there's a couple of verses in Proverbs. Some of you may have heard this. Some of you, they may be brand new to. For me, I've known them for years, but recently they have come to life in a whole new way. And these are Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. And this is what they say. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. See, right here in two verses, when we get into the unknown, there are three actions that we can take and there's one promise from God that come as a result of those actions. The first action that we can take is to trust God with all of our heart. It, it means that I'm going to look to him. It means I'm going to pray and lay this down. It means I'm going to come to him as the one to take care of it, provide for me. I'm going to continue to do that. The second one, and y'all, this one's hard for me. It says to lean not on your own understanding. I like to understand things. We'll talk more about this, but that's a hard one because I'm not going to be able to logic my way through all of the unknown in my life. And the third one that follows that lean out of your own understanding is to submit all your ways to him. See, when I take these three actions to trust, to lean not on my own understanding and to submit everything to him, God then says, I will make your path straight. Now, it means in this unknown, he's going to begin to make that path clear so that we can trust and know the steps to take. And that is a promise that we have that we can hold on to. Because a lot of times when we get into the unknown, that lean not on your own understanding as we try to understand what God is doing, how this works out. If I do this, then how does this happen? That is the place where anxiety can live. Because anxiety comes up when there's something that is out of my control that I'm constantly worried about, I'm constantly grabbing onto, I'm constantly living in, and my anxiety builds. But when I lean out of my own understanding, this verse, when I submit to him and I trust him, it means that I'm saying, God, I can't control this. I can't control the fact that, that my company had layoffs. I can't control what this person in this relationship did. I can't control the economy. I can't control the interest rates. I can't... Con and you go on down, but God, I trust you because you can control it. You can see through it. And when I get into the unknown, I have to understand that when I'm letting go of my understanding, I'm, I'm releasing my control to allow and trust God, the one who has control to lead and guide me. And in this, this exchange of control, I have to understand that I'm moving into a, a faith zone because control and faith they they can't go together they work in opposition of each other when i try to control i'm not walking in faith when i release control i am stepping into faith and in the unknown when we walk into it if god is going to make our paths clear in fact these three actions that we see in proverbs 3 5 and 6 are all about releasing control to trust god and walking in faith and recently for me where these became uh, came to life even more is that God was leading our family to move from the church that we helped start, to move from the city our kids are born, to move from the house that we owned with a low interest rate, to move and to go through this whole life transition and change 
to a new season, a new ministry, a new place, a new city, and so much new. And there were so many pieces in this that we couldn't understand. God, why are you doing this? What are you doing? How is it all going to work out? I feel the weight. I still feel the weight about provision for my family. How are we going to provide for, how's God going to provide for our family? How do, how do I help provide for our family? And, and stepping into this place, it is causing me to constantly come back like these verses say, to release control and to trust God. Release control and trust God in faith. And in your life, there may be an area right now, it's around a relationship, it's around your career, it's, it's an area of health, maybe it's something that, a health issue that came up, it's an area of your life you didn't see coming, maybe it's another step of obedience, maybe you're reading scripture and God is speaking to you about a step of obedience, and in all these areas you're saying, God, I don't understand how this is going to come together. And the area for you to lean into is that area of faith, the area of trust. Because when I do that, you, I'm releasing control and I'm trusting God. And when you do that, God is going to begin to make that path clear. So I want to encourage you, take the step to trust him. Take the step to lean not on your own understanding and take the step to submit all your ways to him and he will make the path straight. Some of you, you may have an area where you're, or you may be asking a different question. You may be saying, I don't really feel that there's a big area of faith or step of obedience that God's asking me to do. And I would ask you another question around your comfort. Maybe the question for you to sit with and pray about is, when was the last time you took an action that required faith? Because God may want to grow you and lead you into an unknown place that's going to grow your faith. And in those unknown times, it's the great, we experience the greatest peace, the greatest blessing, the greatest growth. And all these happen because we learn to trust God in whole new ways. I want to pray for you as we wrap up today. God, I pray over each of us today, every person listening, give us the faith to trust you, to lean not on our own understanding, and to submit everything to you. And God, would you make the path straight? And would you be honored and glorified in it and in our steps of obedience to trust you? We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a good one, everybody.